nagkagiri naman si na Senador Coco Pimentel, Serge Osmeña at Juan Ponce Enrile sa pagdinig ng Senado kahapon, kaugnay pa rin po yan sa money laundering scam. Iginit kasi ni Pimentel na dapat makuha mula sa RCBC ang mga account opening form at iba pang dokumento kaugnay sa mga account na ginamit para ipuslip ang 81 milyong dolyar sa Pilipinas mula sa Central Bank of Bangladesh. Sinang ayuna naman ito ni Senador Osmeña. Sino raw ba ang dapat proteksyonan gayong fictitious naman ang mga account? Pero question ito ni uh, Senador Enrile dahil sa Bank Secrecy Law. Sinabi naman ni Anti-Money Laundering Council Executive Director Julia Abad na ang mga dokumentong gustong buksan ng Senado ay kabilang na sa mga isinumite sa Department of Justice. Ibig sabihin, public records na ang mga ito. We cannot open these accounts except the authority granted by law, granted by us. Only on those grounds can you open those accounts. It, from the point, point of view of the bank that opened these accounts, at the time they were open, they complied with all the requirements of validity of opening the accounts. Somebody now use them for an illegal purpose. Given, that's given. But it is not within the jurisdiction of this legislative house or committee to determine the illicitness of those accounts. I am not swayed with the contrary opinion. I have my own reading of the law. I believe the if it's a fictitious account, it has no, no right to be protected under the law on bank secrecy.